Hello, folks, and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. We're here at the headquarters of Formula One's newest team for an exclusive first look at what they will be bringing to the sport. It's always an exciting moment to welcome a new team onto the grid. However, what makes this occasion a little more special is how strikingly different the cars are this year. Yep, the long-awaited new regulations are finally here, and with them, the start of the next era of Formula One. The 2022 season ushers in a change of direction to the regulations aimed at promoting closer racing. With new aero additions in the form of swooping front and rear wings, along with the new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tyres that will push tyre technology to the limit. So then, the question remains as to whether this team can grasp the opportunity before them with both hands and lead the charge against the rest of the paddock. We'll find out soon enough, as the new season is just about to begin. But first, let's see the unveiling of the team's car and meet the owner of the brand new Formula One team. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now? Well, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and, of course, to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. your workstation. My name is Pierre. I'm your man for all things R&D related, so get used to hearing a lot from me. Your workstation should be all set up and good to go, but if you run into any issues, be sure to give me a shout.
try to control the slip to each corner and take extra care putting the power down at the apex. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and it could be a strategic race this one with Sakia notorious for eating up the rear tires. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Russell, Sergio Perez, and Hamilton, Ocon, Bottas, Armstrong, and Pierre Gasly, Magnussen, Fernando Alonso. They've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher, and Norris, Sonoda, Stroll, Alex Albon, the owner driver, Ricardo, Joe, Vettel, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice and they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. out of the car, the Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Max Verstappen's excellent result today sees him take over as the new leader of the driver's championship. Now, let's discuss and who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the constructors' championship. And Red Bull take over as championship leaders. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next.
personnel department has asked us to deal with this. We have a couple of options here. Take your time. What you decide to do will have consequences. Not an easy decision, but you handled it well. Thanks. We had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for this weekend has failed. Any redevelopments will need to be ordered from the R&D screen. <laughs> 